Material density is a measure of the quantity of information bits that can be stored on a given length of track, area of surface, or in a given volume of a computer storage medium. Generally, higher density is more desirable, for it allows more data to be stored in the same physical space. Density therefore has a direct relationship to storage capacity of a given medium. Density also generally affects the performance within a particular medium, as well as price. Topic. Storage device classes Topic. Magnetic disk media Hard disk drives store data in the magnetic polarization of small patches of the surface coating on a disk. The maximum aerial density is defined by the size of the magnetic particles in the surface, as well as the size of the head used to read and write the data. The aerial density of disk storage devices has increased dramatically since IBM introduced the IBM 350 disk storage, the first hard disk drive in 1956 at an aerial density of 2000 bit, in 2. The growth rate has matched Moore's law with the density reaching 1 terabit, in 2 in 2014. In 2015, Seagate introduced a hard drive at a density of 1.34 terabits, in two, about 600 million times that of the first disk drive. It is expected that current recording technology can be feasibly expected to scale to at least 5 terabits, in two in the near future. New technologies like heat-assisted magnetic recording HAMR and microwave-assisted magnetic recording MAMR are under development and are expected to continue magnetic aerial density progress. Topic. Optical disk media Optical disks store data in small pits in a plastic surface that is then covered with a thin layer of reflective metal. Compact disks CDs offer a density of about 0.90 gigabits, in two, using pits which are 0.83 micrometers long and 0.5 micrometers wide, arranged in tracks spaced 1.6 micrometers apart. DVD discs are essentially a higher density CD, using more of the disc surface, smaller pits 0.64 micrometers, and tighter tracks 0.74 micrometers, offering a density of about 2.2 gigabits, in two. Single-layer HD DVD and Blu-ray discs offer densities around 7.5 gigabits, in two and 12.5 gigabits, in two, respectively. When introduced in 1982 CDs had considerably higher densities than hard disk drives, but hard disk drives have since advanced much more quickly and eclipsed optical media in both aerial density and capacity per device. Topic. Magnetic tape media The first magnetic tape drive, the Univac Uniservo, recorded at the density of 128 bit, in on a half inch magnetic tape, resulting in the aerial density of 256 bit, in two. In 2015, IBM and Fujifilm claimed a new record for the magnetic tape aerial density of 1.23 gigabits, in two, while LTO6, the highest density production tape shipping in 2015, provides an aerial density of 0.84 gigabits, in two. Topic. Research. A number of technologies are attempting to surpass the densities of existing media. IBM aimed to commercialize their millipede memory system at 1 terabit, in 2 in 2007 but development appears to be moribund. 
A newer IBM technology, Racetrack Memory, uses an array of many small nanoscopic wires arranged in 3D, each holding numerous bits to improve density. Although exact numbers have not been mentioned, IBM News articles talk of 100 times increases. Holographic storage technologies are also attempting to leapfrog existing systems, but they too have been losing the race, and are estimated to offer 1 terabit, in 2 as well, with about 250 gigabytes, in 2 being the best demonstrated to date for non-quantum holography systems. Other experimental technologies offer even higher densities. Molecular polymer storage has been shown to store 10 terabits, in 2. By far the densest type of memory storage experimentally to date is electronic quantum holography. By superimposing images of different wavelengths into the same hologram, in 2009 a Stanford research team achieved a bit density of 35-bit, electron approximately 3 exabytes, in 2 using electron microscopes and a copper medium. In 2012, DNA was successfully used as an experimental data storage medium, but required a DNA synthesizer and DNA microchips for the transcoding. As of 2012, DNA holds the record for highest density storage medium. In March 2017, scientists at Columbia University and the New York Genome Center published a method known as DNA Fountain which allows perfect retrieval of information from a density of 215 petabytes per gram of DNA, 85% of the theoretical limit. Topic. Effects on performance With the notable exception of NAND flash memory, increasing storage density of a medium typically improves the transfer speed at which that medium can operate. This is most obvious when considering various disk-based media, where the storage elements are spread over the surface of the disk and must be physically rotated under the head in order to be read or written. Higher density means more data moves under the head for any given mechanical movement. For example, we can calculate the effective transfer speed for a floppy disk by determining how fast the bits move under the head. A standard 3.5 inch floppy disk spins at 300 revolutions per minute, and the innermost track about 66 mm long 10.5 mm radius. At 300 revolutions per minute the linear speed of the media under the head is thus about 66 mm times 300 revolutions per minute. Topic: 19,800 mm per minute or 330 mm per second. Along that track the bits are stored at a density of 686 bit per millimeter, which means that the head sees 686 bit per millimeter times 330 millimeters per second. 226,380 bit, s or 28.3 kibibytes per second. Now consider an improvement to the design that doubles the density of the bits by reducing sample length and keeping the same track spacing. This would double the transfer speed because the bits would be passing under the head twice as fast. Early floppy disk interfaces were designed for 250 kilobits per second transfer speeds, but were rapidly outperformed with the introduction of the high density. 1.44 megabytes, 1440 kibibytes floppies in the 1980s. The vast majority of PCs included interfaces designed for high density drives that ran at 500 kilobits per second instead. These two were completely overwhelmed by newer devices like the LS120, which were forced to use higher speed interfaces such as IDE. Although the effect on performance is most obvious on rotating media, similar effects come into play even for solid-state media like flash RAM or DRAM. 
In this case the performance is generally defined by the time it takes for the electrical signals to travel though the computer bus to the chips, and then through the chips to the individual cells used to store data each cell holds one bit. One defining electrical property is the resistance of the wires inside the chips. As the cell size decreases, through the improvements in semiconductor fabrication that lead to Moore's law, the resistance is reduced and less power is needed to operate the cells. This, in turn, means that less electric current is needed for operation, and thus less time is needed to send the required amount of electrical charge into the system. In DRAM in particular the amount of charge that needs to be stored in a cell's capacitor also directly affects this time. As fabrication has improved, solid-state memory has improved dramatically in terms of performance. Modern DRAM chips had operational speeds on the order of 10 nanoseconds or less. A less obvious effect is that as density improves, the number of DIMMs needed to supply any particular amount of memory decreases, which in turn means less DIMMs overall in any particular computer. This often leads to improved performance as well, as there is less bus traffic. However, this effect is generally not linear. Topic. Effects on price Storage density also has a strong effect on the price of memory, although in this case the reasons are not so obvious. In the case of disk-based media, the primary cost is the moving parts inside the drive. This sets a fixed lower limit, which is why the average selling price for both of the major HDD manufacturers has been USD $45-75 since 2007. That said, the price of high-capacity drives has fallen rapidly, and this is indeed an effect of density. The highest capacity drives use more platters, essentially individual hard drives within the case. As the density increases, the number of platters can be reduced, leading to lower costs. Hard drives are often measured in terms of cost per bit. For example, the first commercial hard drive, IBM's Romic in 1957, supplied 3.75 megabytes for $34,500, or $9,200 per megabyte. In 1989, a 40MB hard drive cost $1,200, or $30 per megabyte. And in 2018, 4 terabits drives sold for $75, or 1.9 per gigabyte, an improvement of 1.5 million since 1989 and 520 million since the Romic. This is without adjusting for inflation, which increased prices ninefold from 1956 to 2018. Solid state storage has seen a similar drop in cost per bit. In this case, the cost is as determined by the yield, the number of viable chips produced in a unit time. Chips are produced in batches printed on the surface of a single large silicon wafer, which is cut up and non working samples are discarded. Fabrication has improved yields over time by using larger wafers, and producing wafers with fewer failures. The lower limit on this process is about $1 per completed chip due to packaging and other costs. The relationship between information density and cost per bit can be illustrated as follows. A memory chip that is half the physical size means that twice as many units can be produced on the same wafer, thus having the price of each one. As a comparison, DRAM was first introduced commercially in 1971, a 1 kilobit part that cost about $50 in large batches, or about 5 cents per bit. 64 megabits parts were common in 1999, which cost about 0.00002 cents per bit, 20 microcents bit. Topic. See also Bit cell, the length, area or volume required to store a single bit 
Mark Kreider, who projected in 2009 that if hard drives were to continue to progress at their then current pace of about 40% per year, then in 2020 a two-platter, 2.5-inch disk drive would store approximately 40 terabytes TB and cost about $40. Patterned media Shingled magnetic recording SMR 